Hi, um, how are you? What's going on y'all? It's been a while, I know, broken record. Long time no see, we get it. My name is Tina, if you don't know me, if you do know me, hi. I missed you too. So, as we know, it's been a while and lots of things have happened. For one, I moved back to Texas. I live, yeah. And I'm suffering the consequences of those actions because I forgot that I had allergies in Texas and then in the East Mountains in New Mexico, I never experienced them until I moved back here and <laughs> hard every hole on my face itches and it's really hot uh -huh. and it's not even summertime yet why did we move you ask sweet loving gentle kind mystery man oh mine um he's starting his own company he's building houses isn't that such an awesome thing uh dreamy <laughs> very exciting stuff what does that mean for us i have no clue i'm just along for the ride i'm happy to be here oh during that intermission i had a job then we got the news that we were gonna move so then we both had to quit our job and we both haven't you know had income for a month now but that being said there will be a brand deal in this video so look out for that thank you i think i got all i wanted to update you on out of the way oh oh i'm pregnant <laughs> 18 weeks i know super exciting stuff i'm um, not sure how that happened don't really want to talk about it <laughs> nonetheless so blessed so excited this is gonna be so much fun we love babies oh my gosh so i'm not sure if that was supposed to be like a more intimate announcement maybe maybe let's take a moment of silence to let that sink in awesome stuff we're not gonna find out the gender I'm due on my wedding day, August 21st. Um, was it planned? It wasn't not planned. As soon as we got married, we were like, come on. I can answer all the other questions in a baby specific video. As of now, this is a fun vlog. Yay, I'm updating you on my life. Moving on. We did change a lot of things around the camper. So after I get ready, maybe I'll show you guys around a little bit. Okay, now I think that's all I had to update you guys on. So what are we doing today? Let me explain. We're just gonna hang out. Isn't that so much fun? We're just gonna jump back into this with an easygoing vlog where I don't feel like I have to entertain. I'm just gonna do what I do. And we're just gonna, you know, see where the wonderful day takes us. However, before I do my makeup, I do need to wash the cheese it does off my fingers. Oh, but however will I do that? That is a great question. And thank you for asking. You know, since I've been having a baby on board, I've been trying to make some more, you know, sustainable life choices that are both safe and effective and has proven to be quite difficult, actually. And that was a struggle that I was having until I found Blue Land. Blue Land sells cleaning products and hand soap. And unlike traditional hand soaps, all you need for clean hands is a nickel-sized tablet and a reusable foaming soap dispenser. Period, per, meow. And Blue Land uses no single-use plastic in any other items from their wrappers to their shipping. And it's vegan and cruelty-free. Mm, for all you crunchy moms out there. And the part that made me feel really warm inside was that these tablets are made without ammonia, chlorine, bleach, parabens, etc. And it's also EPA certified. Hear that? Which basically means that big smart scientists go through every little ingredient to make sure that Blue Land is safe choice, which it is. Stop wasting money, okay? Every time you throw away a plastic bottle, you're throwing away your precious money. Usually it's like five or six dollars for a bottle of hand soap, but with Blue Land, the tablets are just two dollars. Can you believe that? In this economy, with these gas prices, $2 hand soap is a steal. Okay, shut up, let me show you how it works. First, you get your Blue Lamb bottle, beautiful. Then, you fill it up with warm water. Fill it to the line, boom, filled. Next. Okay, first of all, isn't it crazy that you can keep this bottle forever? I know. Next, drop one of your tablets in. I'm gonna pick, ooh, Iris Agave, because I have no clue what that means. Ooh, yum, me likey. And as you look at that, boys, ladies and gentlemen, what you have there, savings but don't throw the package away compostable boom saving the earth saving money what could go wrong and then boom in minutes you can use it <laughs> i got the hand soap duo i got the hand soap duo and it came with two of these forever bottles and six of these tablets I got Kareen Lemon, Lavender Eucalyptus, and Iris Agave, yum. So instead of buying just standalone hand soap, if you get a kit, it's already 20% savings. 
and I have a code for an extra 20% off. So bada boom, bada bing, that's like what, 40% at least. All you have to do is click the link in my description to get 20% off of your first kit. I promise that you guys don't wanna miss this deal. So check out Blue Land. And I know they ship to US, Canada, the UK, New Zealand, and Australia. So thank you Blue Land, I love you. Keep up the good work. And thank you you guys, because without you guys, I wouldn't be where I am today. Mama, kiss kiss, thank you, thank you. Okay, back to regularly scheduled program because it took me 10 minutes to wash my hands. See, I told you guys that would be quick and painless. So now it's time to start my face. I haven't been wearing makeup that often, but when I do, I'll tell you what, I do, I sure do feel pretty. Um, a cool thing about pregnancy is that I'm breaking out like a teenage girl again. Look at that. It hurts and it's all like there. But another cool thing about pregnancy is that my eyebrows are like finally there. Then prenatals be prenataling. I'm not gonna do like a full makeup tutorial. I sure will tell you guys what I use though. First I went in with my Acura sunscreen and then I went in with my Coco Kind Chia Facial Oil. I love that stuff. I get it, both of those at Whole Foods. I am turning into a Whole Foods mom. First it was Trader Joe's and I totally was a Trader Ho for a minute. And then I moved here and I don't live near a Trader Joe's because I live west of Fort Worth, not as west as Lubbock, somewhere in that general region. That's where I live. And let me tell you what we've got close to me. Within 15 minutes, I have three gas stations. One of those gas stations does have a taco casa in it, but <laughs> And then across the street, there's a Dairy Queen that closes at 10, so. I don't ever want Dairy Queen before 10 p.m., so it's not really worth it. One thing, though, that I have noticed is that when people talk about a pregnancy glow, I think that it's just sweat, because I haven't been glowing. Well, at least I don't think I do, but I sure have been sweating enough to where people are like, wow, you're so beautiful. Next, primer with electrolytes. Um, I'm pretty sure it could just be salty primer. Next, I use the NYX color correcting palette in color correct. I put green where there's red, which due to the wonderful pollen count lately is all around all the holes in my face. Okay, then you put yellow where there's blue and I have a lot of blue right there for some reason. Don't know why, don't know how. I'm trying to do like the less is more kind of thing, okay? The other day my husband made fun of me because I was like, does it look like a natural makeup look? And I spent an hour on it. And he's like, yeah, you just spent an hour putting on makeup to where it didn't look like you didn't have makeup on. And I said, perfect, that's exactly what I want. Then I just use the peachy under eye cons under eye highlighter. It's like a peachy color by Pixie. They used to have one by Stila that was really good, but they freaking stopped selling it. Then blend away. So pregnancy so far, it's been pretty awesome. The first trimester, I will say, sucked. First trimester was not fun for me. I was grumpy britches. Let me tell you what. And what's cool about it is that we were freshly married, so my husband was probably regretting a very important life decision that he just made. And that was my fault. But it literally, it's so weird. They say the second trimester is way better. And as soon as I hit that second trimester, like boom, I'm in the second trimester. The day of, I just felt better. I think it was like a placebo. I have no clue. All I know is that like right now, I feel perfect. The only thing is, is that my gums are like really swollen, which I didn't know was a pregnancy thing until I did. Hm. Would you believe that? Look how big of a difference that makes. Also, my bump is like bumping, you know? And I don't know if it's because of my diet <laughs> or I don't know if I just have a big old baby. All I know is that I have a, fairly large bump for only being 17 weeks. My belly's never bellied like this before, so I'ma go with it's the bump. Now I could stop there, but I do have a green mustache. Lumi, if you're pregnant with me, let me just stand in solidarity with you that every pregnant woman has an opinion. Some pregnant women keep it to themselves and some pregnant women don't. I don't think, I really don't think people mean to do it, but everybody just loves to tell you what to do and what not to do. And pregnancy is not a one size fits all thing. Like lately, I've just been I've just been telling people who've been asking, do your own research. You know, talk to your healthcare provider, figure out what's gonna work best for you, and then you can make those decisions for yourself. Okay? Advice is good if it was requested, you know? So don't let anybody scare you. Also, I'm not sure why, but I have noticed that there's such a negative I don't know, talking about pregnancy, especially with women, is such a negative thing often. They'll ask me how my pregnancy is doing. I'll say good. I'm just so tired. That was the craziest thing about the first trimester is that I just wanted to sleep all the time. But you're literally making a human so it makes sense. All that energy is going somewhere. And they said well enjoy the sleep while you can because you're not going to sleep ever again. Or I'm out having fun with my husband. Well enjoy your time with your husband now because you're never going to pay attention to your husband ever again. You guys are going to hate each other and never celebrate an anniversary ever again because it's going to be all about your kids forever and ever and ever. Ooh. 
Damn, Gina. So once again, I'm doing what I think is right. I am a firm believer that what I think is right is probably not what you think is right. What am I gonna do? Jump through the screen and tell you that you're wrong? I don't care. I don't care, okay? I don't care. Oh, that was the Makeup Revolution Eye Bright Concealer. Don't like it, don't recommend, because the texture is that of lake water. I will say though, let's talk about pregnancy cravings. The only thing that I have been craving, that's not true, I did crave just a slab, like a whole entire raw salmon. That's it, that's all I wanted. Luckily that has kind of passed a little bit, but now something that's even worse is that I want a cigarette. <laughs> have I ever been a cigarette smoker? No. Did I ever plan on becoming a cigarette smoker? No. Will I become a cigarette smoker? No. But I will say I walked by this woman who was smoking outside of the Soma Intimates. You would have thought I was walking past a barbecue pit because it smelled so good. And I called my husband crying. Under my eyes. We're just gonna speed through this because we got more to do today and I'm not really trying to sit here and talk about it, okay? If you want me to sit here, maybe eat some tacos while I do it, let me know. That's pretty much it. Oh, my allergies are so bad. Say that's it as if I didn't just spend 30 minutes doing my makeup. So at this point, the time is now 4.07. I'm meeting my husband for dinner. So what are we gonna do? Go get a coffee. Maybe we'll have time to explore together. But what do I do during a normal day? Not this. First of all, I wouldn't get ready or have these clothes on. My kitchen wouldn't be like kind of clean. Oh, let me show you the, let me show you what we've done to the camper so far. Oh, first thing. We've put, we've put curtains up. These are from Walmart. The color is terracotta, super cute. I love how the light shines through and we were so used to, we're so used to not having neighbors that we had to put curtains up as soon as we got here because we didn't wanna be like those neighbors. You know what I mean? When this is all clean, the crib's gonna go there. Um, we need to get the AC fixed ASAP because baby is gonna overheat. And if baby is anything like me, baby will get heat rash. Mystery Man did finish the wall, patina wall. There's the mirror that I get ready in. It just slides behind the couch whenever I'm done. I've changed the kitchen. We are now coloring it black. Ignore the spam. I was gonna make masubi. No, everything in here is still the same. I made a mess trying to get dressed. Go figure. I should start laundry before I leave. But it's so far. Oh my gosh, my belly. Look at that. We're gonna go, we gotta go soon. Let me pick up my mess. I'm, oh, well. Help me fix my hair, actually. <laughs> hair fixed. Who knew this a brush would turn your hair real cute? Not me, didn't guess. Y'all have to help me pick my jewelry now. It is currently all in one big knot, which we love. So I'm thinking I can wear this. I got it on my honeymoon. Goes with our little green vibe. You agree? I agree. This vlog has really just turned into you guys getting ready for a date with me. How's that? Or should we go lower? I think we should go lower. Isn't it crazy that you could have told me not to go lower and I just can't hear you? Next, we've got cute bracelets. My friend Fallon made me this one. I still love it, even though we don't talk. <laughs> we don't have very many earring options, so we're just gonna go with these brushed gold ones. Oh, I feel so pretty. I haven't gotten ready in such a long time. <laughs> and I love going on dates. I love my husband. How do we look? Cute. Oh, I'm missing a hole. This lighting is bookie trash over here. Okay, obviously my wash. Can't live without her. I think we're gonna switch this pearl over to this wrist. My ring, beautiful. Avi, my other ring, uh, no, my fingers swell up, so I'm terrified. Earring, okay, I think I'm ready to go. Perfume, fresh and clean by Victoria's Secret. I smell like an eighth grade locker room. Let's roll. Okay, I'm so sorry, I was in such a rush. Um, would have filmed while I was driving. Unfortunately, the wind, so no film though during drive -o. 
Can I get a decaf white mocha? I don't really need caffeine. And maybe a chocolate croissant? No, I'm going to eat, but I'm hungry. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, stop, I'm nervous. Shh. <clears throat> Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can we get you today? Hi, can I get a grande decaf white chocolate mocha, please, with no whipped cream? And can I get it iced? I didn't do my positive affirmations for today. So I have arrived at the max of the TJ variety. If you're wondering if I got a chocolate croissant, I did. Duh. Mmm. The flavors are melting on my tongue. Now, let me give it a swirl and a taste. Ugh. Mommy likey. A lot of people don't like decaf because it tastes burnt. I think I like it because it tastes burnt. Also, you, have you ever like started to drink a drink and only had the urge to chug? Like you can't just take a sip. That's what just happened. So the goal is to go into TJ Maxx and not buy anything. And that's the goal because we have no money. So in reality, that's just the way that it has to be. It's not necessarily a goal. That's just like period, point blank, you know? People are also showing up and I'm getting really nervous. So I'm gonna take a couple more bites of this and I'll see you in the max. Okay, so after giving it some thought, I don't believe that I have enough willpower to go in and not get anything. I'm really sorry, but we might not go in. I just am taking this moment to be the bigger person, bigger than myself, that is. Um, is there chocolate on my... I just spoke to you for way too long with all that granute and you just let me? Okay, calling mystery man. Uh, hello. Sweet mystery man. Sweet, Do you know what it looks like outside right now? No. It's overcast. And do you know what overcast means? No. It means it's the best time to take Instagram photos. So what I decided to make a big girl decision and not go into TJ Maxx because I know it would be hard for me not to want anything. And I decided to call you and offer you the choice to take photos of me, your love and wife. Is this conversation being recorded? No. Okay, let's go. Okay, well, let's meet up and we can find somewhere cute, okay? Okay, love you, bye. Love you, bye. Okay, that's where we're going. I'm here with Mystery Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't record much because I was yelling at him. Being a cameraman sucks. <laughs> he really does. I'm very sorry. I don't know. You'll see him on Instagram if you see him. If not, then whatever. I think he did a good job. I think I'm not the best coach that I could be, but what do you think? She's like Bob Knight, if anyone knows who that is. I don't. The basketball coach that threw chairs and stuff when he got mad. Oh. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll see y'all after dinner. Right. We didn't record date night just because it's date night, you know, it's intimate, you know, it's that kind of stuff. It was very good, we had tacos. Mine did taste and smell like a dirty diaper. I think it was my fault, I typically order things wrong. How are yours? Delicious, I typically order things perfectly. They gave me a virgin margarita at the restaurant. It was so good that we're gonna go to the uh, liquor store, get some stuff to make a virgin margarita. We made it home. Welcome to two turn virgin cocktails. We're gonna be making a lime and coconut margarita. All you need is a margarita mix, duh, because we're lazy. But this one, pretty awesome, because listen to the ingredients. Lime juice, filtered water, sugar, yuzu juice, lemon juice, sea salt. Bada boom, bada bing, all things that grow, so all things that are good. And I'm gonna use my drinking glass as a measuring apparatus. Yay much. Add that to our shaker. I have made the mistake of shaking a carbonated beverage in the shaker. Won't be doing that this time. Next ingredient is real gourmet cream of coconut. We're just gonna add a little bit of that. Boom, baby. Next, you need Cinco de Mayo to Moy. <laughs> All you simply do is do one of these. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, Beautiful. That's not gonna be the most fun cup to lick the side of. <laughs> Some people feed their dogs on those sensory mats. Next, we're gonna add some tahini. Oh, we didn't get limes. Nice. Doesn't that look delicious? Next. And then a little bit of Sprite in three, maybe two, <laughs> and bon appetit. Oh. Well, mm, that's yummy. It's it, sour, but 
It's yummy. Try. Perfect. Delicioso. Now what are we going to say about the fire? Sure. <laughs> Look at our goodies. You can't even see. Dread just looks like a shadow. Dread is Vanta Black. Welcome to our setup. We've got my fake drink. Well, it's a real drink. <laughs> but it's non-alcoholic. A s'mores, smorgasbord. <laughs> and we've got a fire. When we got home, there was no wind whatsoever. And as soon as we sat down by the fire, the wind happened. Welcome. Today, we're gonna make a s'more. First thing that you need, a honey gram. <laughs> and fire. Next thing that you need is some chocolate. Okay? Yes. You need a milk. Preferably jet puffed, but we don't get very Then you place it over a roasting fire for as long as you want. <laughs> I can't promise that I won't set it on fire. So this is what I do. You set it on fire and then you put the fire on your chocolate so that it melts your chocolate and then you do this. Let it burn. Because we like our s'mores with a side of carcinogens. Now, if you have underlying health issues, I do recommend you talk to your healthcare provider because <laughs> this might push you over the edge. And there you have it, a s'more. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Okay, that's all I got for you. Probably gonna eat like three more of these and then we're gonna get the hay. Okay, um, I had a good day. I hope you did too. Um, sorry I was a bit scatterbrained. I didn't really have a plan. I just kind of wanted to look. <laughs> oh my gosh. Drink water, make sure it's BPA free bottles. Um, Filter, no fluoride. Exactly. Be safe. You know, sleep good. I'm gonna wash my face and then I'm gonna call it a night. Oh, you can see. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nerd. Make sure you tell your loved ones that you love them. True. Tell your moms and your dads. True. Husbands and wives. True. Kids. Sisters, brothers. Boyfriends, girlfriends. Misters, missus. Give, give them a little bit of this. Right there. Okay. Baby's tired. I'll talk to y'all later. Goodbye. See you next time. Thank you, Playland, for sponsoring. There's gonna be a pimple right there tomorrow. <laughs>